Welcome back. When we talk about population, we talk about numbers. But population is not numbers, population is people. As this night of special programs continues, we will see how raising the status of women may be the most important and effective thing the world can do to bring itself back into balance. In developing countries, soap operas aren't selling soap. They're selling social change. I started the organization in 1998. Our office in Addis Ababa received a letter from a woman in Oromia in southern Ethiopia during the broadcast of our first radio serial drama. The letter said basically this, thank you for dealing with the issue of marriage by abduction. Our own daughter was abducted on her way to school at age 14 and ended up married as a result and we've been afraid to send the younger girls to school for fear the same thing would happen to them. When your program addressed this issue through the character Wu Balam, our entire village, which was listening, came together and we all agreed to enforce the law against marriage by abduction, which we had not realized existed. And now it's safe for our younger girls to go to school. Please keep your program on the air. The real impact comes from when people on their own find the solution to the problem they're experiencing and then through that process become teachers of others. Ce temps m'a donné beaucoup de conseils sur l'exigeant. C'est là qu'on on s'assoit chez nous pour écouter l'émission. On est on est nombreux et puis chacun donne son avis aussi. And a lot of research data that you find internationally and globally, it's just numbers. Uh, and numbers don't tell the stories. But when you put a human face in front of it, then that changes the nature of drawing on people's emotions, pulling people to understand that it's not just a number, but it's a person and a face and a, and a context. It's so rigorous the way we entrench and really weave the stories that people get really connected. And that's how we then at the end of the shows have the outcomes that we really expected. Role model works to influence people. People make behavioral decisions primarily with the parts of their brain that deal with emotion. Population Media Center is creating a fictional world that has a power to change people's lives. Unless you're going to sign up for the newspaper, you can leave because I'm busy. I'm signing up. You're signing up. Well, guys can ask me the questions and I can find out the answers for them. How about that? Okay, let's try you out. Yo, what's up? It's Polly here with the first edition of Ask Polly. If you got any questions about sex or dating, you could click the link below. I got a great question here for you today. How and what do you do to pleasure your partner? Oh, she. Telling stories from people's perspective is so remarkable. It's so transformative because most of the people in the world, they all dream big. That's where this storytelling that PMC uses, it helps people to relate, resonate, analyze, and find a space that they act on so that they could reach their dream. You can't change social norms without changing the perception of what is normal. Their beliefs, their attitudes, and some of these are issues that they've grown up with. So Population Media Center encourages people to turn away from the negatives into the positives. What's critically important to changing the planet is taking people from fatalism to self-efficacy. And self-efficacy means I have the right and the ability to do what I need to do in order to improve my life. Hearing young girls at 15, 14 years old that telling you that uh, during a, a, an evaluation at the end of a program, telling you what have changed in their lives, that this program had taught them uh, what, what they're worth as a woman and then uh, they should not uh, accept violence. And they got all that to so much entertainment. Nanga 
ya family planning na ye omwami wange nga samu bulira ko bwe yakimanya na isiba bubinyo na yomba na mpisamu na ndi ne mu ka program yo na juli de radio simba ne mu saba tujuli bizira ntujuli biza bulungi nyo okuva omwami wange yauliza program yo ndo woza ya kyusibwa nyo na ngamba tugende tutandike tuwabe nkole ye kole itia tugenda ne watu yigirize nkole ye wetandi bweko bwekola nchatu yamba nyo nyo mu makaga fu people do not go home at night to watch public service announcements and listen to health messages they go home at night to be entertained and if you have the perfect message and no audience you have accomplished nothing you've got to attract people unu se fait tant très bien important même très très important parce qu'il nous a il nous a appris beaucoup de choses plus que ce que nous connaissons what is real and what is fiction a good story helps us forget the line that separates the two. And that's where it gets its power. It's time to harness the power of stories to entertain huge audiences and positively affect the lives of millions of people around the world. Population Media Center has used entertaining stories to help people live healthier lives in more than 50 countries. From the United States to Burundi, TV to radio, human rights to environmental issues, simple to complex media markets, everyone is drawn to well-told stories. I work for PMC because the issues that PMC is involved with are some of the most important issues of our time and we have the opportunity to really affect things at significant scale and to make a difference. And personally, I find that uh, intrinsically rewarding. We produce 312 episodes. Welcome to Radio ISO FM. We're back with a program called Kushilia. My name is Agnes Kaonga and I am 25 years old. I started listening to the program Kushilia. It was on this program where I first heard about family planning. I told my husband because we did not space the children properly. I got encouraged and we went to Kasoka every day. There's been a, an increase. And uh, this is due to the sensitization through the radio program called Kui Shilia from uh, the Population Media Center. And that's how we started using family planning. I was able to space between the second child and the last born child. They start encourage one say. I am encouraging all young and old couples to go for family planning. Family planning will help you prepare for your family and how many children you wish to have. We've had a 1.5 million listener a success rate for the uh, first uh, broadcast. I can tell you about successes until we run out of tape. And in case you haven't discovered East Los High, it's been nominated for five Emmy Awards. Just in the first month of this show, 27,000 people linked from this show to Planned Parenthood's website. Population Media Center Schools works in individual minds, individual thoughts. We motivate people to bring that confidence within themselves. PMC's storytelling and methodology is based on research. So it's, it doesn't just tell stories or communicate from the vacuum. Because we are speaking the language the people understand, it's easy to learn from those messages. 100% co-led by indigenous people or in-country team that have a local context. The local population, the communities know about our show because our actors are local, our writers are local, even our office teams, everything is locally based. We have local studios. The letters we receive from listeners is what most inspires me. The issue is both a humanitarian mandate for 50% of our population to be able to achieve their own goals in life, to be able to direct their own lives, to be able to determine their own family situation. Simultaneously, the global problems that we face can only be addressed if we address these issues of women and girls and the rights they have. When we empower women and give them the tools that they need, the results and the impact that they have globally is a huge impact. I think there are very few problems 
of scale in the world that wouldn't be greatly improved when the status of women is also improved. All of the work that we do is for women and girls and they are about women and girls. Cuando le dices que no golpearte, eso se llama abuso. Lucha, tienes que luchar por ti. Eso fue lo que hicimos con las becas, ¿no? No, Celeste, no es lo mismo. Por claro favor. que es lo mismo, es luchar por nuestros derechos. We all deserve to, to live equally. Use our full potentials to have the happiest life. And learn that we can hold on, we can be patient, because good things are in the future. Um, life is worth living when you live well. And when you take informed decision about your life, you are invariably impacting positively. PMC has the most cost-effective strategy for addressing behavioral issues, leading to better health, better economic welfare, and better human rights. The work we are doing is critical. Making sure that young girls have access to education. The world needs help. People need help. If you want to make an impact, if you want to make a change, if you want to see results, this is the way to go. Because the real change comes when we think different. It's very exciting times to bring something extra to the table. How can we help? How can we contribute? Organizations and individuals should think about funding PMC if they want to contribute to sustainable change, amplify the voices of the most marginalized communities, and care about people and the environment.